men. <laughs> Did he do it again? Did the guy do it again? There. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Told you she'd laugh. <laughs> Come on, world, laugh it up with <laughs> Carla Richmond. <laughs> it is Carla, and from Learn English by Speaking English, this show today is sponsored by VoIP, which is virtual phone lines, and you can get a get phones all over the world using this this phone company and it's really cheap and I can't tell you more because I really don't know more. I'm really sorry. And, You're doing I'm, good. You know, and I'm pretty um I'm pretty hot about people who are caught messaging me at twelve nine twenty Pakistan time saying where are you? I am not supposed to be on the show until 9.30 p.m. You guys need to give me a little, be a little more patient and understanding. I am here with Pamela Hills today. I guess it's Hi. Wednesday. I never know <laughs> yeah. what day it is anymore. Yes, I see your hair, Rhonda. Give me a moment and I'll bring you in. And... I'm in a weird mood, so I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. I actually think I started a new show with Brayhan today, but I'm a little confused about the details. But it started today. Um, it will not be again tonight, but it will happen. I'm not sure when we're actually starting, probably tomorrow, knowing the person. Um, anyway, Ranjan, I'm going to change your name so you have a real name. And then you can talk to Pamela so I can share out and people can stop saying, and when, when are you going to let people in? Uh, <laughs> you are going to have me laughing my head off today, Carl. <laughs> it's Ranji, right, Ranji? Yeah. Yes, 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 You can talk to Pamela, let her introduce herself. You can introduce yourself to her. And um, let me get this show started because it hasn't been shared out at all. Hi, um, <laughs> get to it, Carla. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Pamela Hill. Oh, Hi. And of, uh, remembering uh, those students who are actually regular for her, but they are also not means a kind of uh, time domain. <laughs> they do not have the same schedule. <laughs> so yeah. ma'am is a kind of, uh, what do you say, confused. Uh, she is just getting aggressive, a little bit aggressive. Ma'am just agree. Uh, ma'am Carla just agreed. Agreed. You are getting uh, kind of aggressive. <laughs> oh, well, okay. First of all, let's take a break, okay? I am Pamela Hills from America, and I don't think I've talked to you, Ranji, before. Uh, I'd like for you to introduce yourself, tell us about you. Uh, and is this, are we your first Americans to talk to? Uh, Ma'am, I am from Pakistan and uh, I am an electrical engineer and uh, currently I have been, uh, I have uh, given a, what do you say, uh, uh, I, just, I was just a lecturer at a university, a versatile university was there in Pakistan, Karachi. Maybe you might have heard about uh, Karachi, Sir Ryan Sir also uh, visits him more than any other city in Pakistan. Uh -huh. So, I, I know about um, Karachi very well, yeah. as well as the rest of Pakistan. I've been talking to many of you for several years now. So, are you from Karachi? Yes, yeah. Are you from Karachi? Uh, basically, I'm from the, the interior, interior part of uh, this state. Uh, the state's name is Sindh. So Karachi is also a part of uh, Sindh state, but I just uh, live in a kind of uh, villages and uh, um, we can say, uh, 
It's the third biggest city. Okay. So okay. I'm basically from there, but uh, I was teaching at Karachi uh, in a in a very nice uh, engineering university. But recently I've got a, another job. So Mem Karla, I also just uh, um, met with Mem Karla just because of Sir Ryan Sir. Uh, he shares uh, his screen, and uh, <clears throat> it was really a okay. good means uh, kind of. Uh, Stop a minute. <laughs> Having trouble understanding you. There's something wrong with your internet connection. Do you mind going out so we can hear you a little clearer? I don't know. Are you having any problems with the Zoom, Yes. Uh, he is breaking up. Okay. It's, it's the connection, or you're getting close to load shedding time, or something. Okay, Renji. Go out and come back again, please. Please you come back. What I'm saying? I want you to close your phone and your Zoom and reboot everything and come back. Come back. Okay, I'll bring you in. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, I was having a problem hearing. He was yeah. breaking up and he's so excited. He's so excited. I know, but Pamela, when you can't hear someone clearly, please tell them right away because that's the only way we can improve. I know. I couldn't get a word in edgeways. <laughs> no, you, you do like what I did. You break okay. them, you stop them. You have okay. to because it's of no value to anyone. Right. Hello, Fatima. Fatima is the lady I spoke to who is oh. living in China, has lived throughout the world. And I told her not, told her she didn't have to worry about coming because it's so late there, but she wanted to come. But I need to begin sharing out, so please talk to her. I'm okay. sorry, I'll come <laughs> back to you, but I really need to focus a little. How okay. are you though? Fatima, talk to us, you're not muted. Fatima, fix your mic so we can hear you, please. We can't hear you. Can you hear us? Shake your head if you can hear us. Can you hear us? Oh. Fatima, go start your Zoom and phone again. Can you hear me? Fatima, I'm going to write you a note. You need to go back and start your phone. Oh, she's out. Okay. She's taking care of it. Okay. Uh, Muhammad, no. She's... Oh, no. Don't worry about it. Please, Pamela, please talk so I can. Okay. okay. You get done what you need to get done. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. It looks like we are having technical difficulties, not no, on no, our it's side. It's on their side. Yeah, wait, you, <laughs> you do what you need to do. It's not on our side, it is on your side. Um, and it- I'm as, typing it in, just- Oh, okay. Out, oh, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> it's hard to talk to a blank screen when there's only two of us here. Uh, if many of you are out there in the audience, please now's the time to come into the room before it's locked. Um, if you're waiting and want to come and talk, uh, please do. Um, I'm seeing uh, Mohammed Faisal. All I see is a red screen. I don't see you. If you were there, I'd talk to you. He needs to come back. Let me see if at least He's unmuted and we can't hear him. He too needs to reboot his um, his phone and his. He's the, saying he's here, but. It doesn't matter. If okay. we can't hear him, he is not here. He is. Yeah. In fact, he's frozen because I can't even remove him. Yeah. And I can't see him. Will you. Okay. Uh, let's take a deep breath. 
I'm going to close my eyes and let Carly get you this done. I have time to. I need you talking. Okay. Okay. Please. Okay. First of all, um, oh, there's Rizwan. Uh, we want to welcome each and every one of you to the show today. Uh, Carla is busy sharing out. Um, some of you have had technical difficulties. Please read the messages so that um, she tells you what to do. Do it and please come back. We so, so want to talk to you and hear about you. Um, let's see, I'm wondering if we can uh, unmute Rizwan uh, since he he's the- unmuted. Oh, he is muted, I'm sorry. Yeah. Because I don't want to talk this whole time. <laughs> Hi, Rizwan. Excuse me. Oh. Hold Hi, on. how are you? Please, quiet for a moment. Fatima, you need to reboot your phone and your your Zoom. We cannot hear you and you cannot hear me. Please do what I'm asking you to do. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, Rizwan, first of all, it's nice to see you. Uh, please you. tell please tell us about yourself and what you did today. Uh, my name is Rizwan and uh, I am an educator. I am teaching uh, in uh, Punjab Education Department oh. and uh, I am elementary school educator. Currently, I have joined you because I am studying in linguistics. So that I thought that uh, we can have a conversation okay. on it. I need you to go to a quiet, quiet place without the background noise. Because in this show, when there's a lot of background noise, it is hard for the non-English speakers to understand what you are saying. Please find a quiet room. Please find a room without background noise of kids. I love kids, but I cannot be here to be in the background. Okay. 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 Now try it again, uh, Rizwan. Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah, it sounds much quieter. What it is, is when there's a lot of noise, uh, people can't hear properly. You know this as a teacher, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so... So tell us, um, okay, you said you come here because you're learning ling ling linguistics? I'm studying ELT, English language teaching. Oh, okay. So are you teaching English at your school then? Yes. Very good. What ages do you teach English to? Uh, mostly... Uh, two to 10 years or A very good time to learn language. Uh, it's easier at that time than any time um, in their life, really. Uh, they pick it up so quickly. Yeah, yeah. So how many students do you teach? Uh, there are different classes. Approximately they are uh, uh, near about uh, 70 students. Very good. So are you a new school? Are you a new school? Yeah. yeah. I was appointed in that school in 2017. Oh, wow. Really new school. Well, I wish you... Oh. Okay, hang on. Fatima, you need to reboot your Zoom. We cannot see you. Please come back and reboot your Zoom and your phone. I hope you can hear me. We can't see you and I don't, I can't hear you. You're not even muted. Can you say hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, okay, <sighs> back to my way. We're back to, you don't need to go anywhere. Just turn on your camera now. 
All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. yeah, please keep talking. I'm just going to. <laughs> okay. Okay. Riz, Rizwan, what have you found to be the hardest to teaching uh, your students English? What is the one thing that that they find the hardest to learn when it comes to the English language? In my opinion, uh, the most difficult is the phonetics, how they produce the sound of a, a morpheme or a word. Uh, they uh, actually, they belong to village and they speak their mother language, which is, uh, you know, in Punjab, Punjabi. Right. And they can't uh, learn a new language, which is totally different from their language. <clears throat> Right. So that they can't understand the structure of uh, a morpheme and uh, a word. So in my opinion, it's uh, difficult for them to understand the uh, actual phonetics of that song. Okay. I know when I talk to the schools like in Swat Valley, Shagrat and, and places like that, where the, the parents literally, I mean, many are uneducated, but many know no English whatsoever. And we started yeah. with the simple things like naming fruits in English so that they could go home and pick up, say, like a mango or an alm and say this to their parents. So in, in your country, uh, the English language, especially to the rural villages, is coming in reverse. You are teaching the children that are going home and teaching their, their mothers, their fathers, you know, but as long as they learn something that, that was simple, you know, like, like vegetables, fruits, um, sports, days of the week, um, you are doing an amazing thing. Um, I was told by many, the name of Pamela Hills is known in many villages. But uh, it, it's hard because you can teach it at school. But if their parents don't speak English, they go mm -hmm. home and they start speaking Punjabi all over again or Urdu. Yeah. yeah. So you have a very, very hard, hard job. I know. Yeah. But in just, my school. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. Go ahead. In my school, mostly uh, students' parents are uh, laborer. Uh, they work on Brooklyn, and uh, they, they even have, uh, to study them uh, to have them in a good school. Our school is a public school, uh, and uh, they uh, learn their free and there are a lot of difficulties for them. Even they don't have so much economic resources to purchase a pencil, simple pencil and their right. uh, worksheet. So it's yeah. very difficult to teach them. Yeah, I know the only way that these kids can use computers, because I've talked to them, the teacher may have one laptop and this is how they talk because they do not have this in the villages. You know, the yeah. only... The only time. Okay, Carly, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to ask if you are anyone who's either on the show or visiting today, watching, if you find this show to be valuable, please share it out to your friends and family. The more you share it out, the better. What the conversation happening now is a very important conversation. And it's important for it to go out to as many people as possible. So please feel free to share it. It's not only supposed to be on Ray Hunt's pages or the pages I share it out to. Thank you. Go on. I agree, Carla. Sharing is caring. <laughs> it really is. And that well, is you, Pamela. This is the time to share it out. Not afterwards, but... <laughs> When the show is going on. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. But, um, okay. Well, Rizwan, do you have any 
anything else? I know you probably have questions for Carla. Uh, she is an actual teacher. Uh, for me, uh, Rehan Alawala asked me years ago to teach English and I'm going to myself, but I'm not a teacher. And he says, just show up and talk to them. And that's what I've been doing. And when I talk to the classrooms in the rural areas, uh, and I ask this question all the time, am I the first American you talk to? And they say, yes. I mean, I've had whole classrooms say yes. This is a way if we just talk to, you know, to the classrooms or whatever there, it is their first experience. It is their first time to see and hear an American. And it's more important than a lot of people realize. Um, I am imp I love the little children. I love hearing their voices. They are so sweet and so cute. I think the youngest one I heard was either four or five years old, a precious little girl um, who was learning. And I will tell you, my heart leaps for joy to see both boys and girls being taught in many schools. You know, they are not just all boys schools anymore. This is wonderful because if you teach, if you teach children, you teach a nation, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, do you have anything else? Um, I know uh, Carla will probably want to come back to you. Uh, I just want to share a thing. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Uh, yesterday, uh, there was my birthday and uh, the whole class two class, they collect their money and they arrange some snacks and some little things for my birthday. It makes me very happy that they care about me. Oh, this is I cool. feel very proud. Well, happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. I can remember as a child in school when we celebrated the teacher's birthday or something. It was it was a special day, you know. So um, to you, this this is a memory. This is a memory from your teaching days, and uh, these children will re just as I remember my teachers when they had birthdays. They will remember that day as well. So. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. So, okay. Um, I'm still trying to share this out. <laughs> um, can we just go to the next person? Yeah. Who is Matsub? Matsub Khan, you need to show your. Oh, I think it's Fatima. It's okay. But you need. Hello. To... Can you hear hey, me? Oh, yeah. Fatima's back. It's not Yay! her. Yay! She's Yay! here. Yay! <laughs> note. Hello, Mansub Carla. How are Khan? you? Excuse me. Mansub Khan, you need to put on your camera. You have one minute to do it, or I will be putting you back in the white room. Okay. I'm fine, but I'm still typing in. Um, <laughs> I'll be back in a moment to talk to you, but can you talk to Pamela? Pamela, oh, you don't I need to write anything. Just oh. send out the okay. I, I couldn't send it out yet, but I will. Uh, Fatima, I really want to hear from you. Um, please tell us about, this is my first time ever to talk to you, but I know you're Thank an you. amazing person. So please tell the world about what yourself and what you're doing. Um, currently I'm in China and the city is Chengdu and um, uh, it's the Sichuan province capital. It's the west of China. And um, these days, i um, just uh, busy with my two kids and exploring and understanding this new world, which is China. So that's all about it. Oh, have you learned any Mandarin Chinese? Yes, very little, actually. Okay, but have you found the, the thing that I learned, my husband's retired military and I've lived in South Korea and I've lived in Germany. The one, things, mm -hmm. the one thing that we ladies need to know is the names of food. Have you learned the names of the food in Chinese? 
Yes, uh, and very little actually, not much, <laughs> but very little. Okay. Because my kids, they 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 speak better Chinese than me, so when we have to go to market, so they're with me, so I oh. get to get my things done. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, I didn't have any kids uh, when I was in South Korea, but this is mm-hmm. a great way to learn another language is by learning the names of food. Um, Certainly and, it is. And having the conversation. There was uh, like, uh, see if I remember right, manner is garlic in, in Korean. And I will mm-hmm. never forget going uh, with one of the mama sons and the girls. This woman argued 45 minutes over the best rope of garlic, <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I found, I don't know, do they call it markets there in China? In China? Um, well, you know, because now China is opening up a lot, so it is not as difficult as it was earlier. So people somehow um, understand English also when we use softwares like WeChat and other softwares I translate. So it's not as difficult as it was a decade or two decades ago. So it's, it's a different world altogether. And the, uh, the city where I am right now, it's actually an artificial intelligence hub. Plus it's oh. a fintech. So a lot of global um, companies are here. So it's um, not a pure, you know, Chinese and, and, and national i mean you know all those citizens are not only chinese so you have a lot of expats diplomats and other people here too so it's not as difficult as it was earlier what we get to hear from people before oh that's great uh i'm curious Mm. um what is your favorite food to eat in china what food have you ate is your favorite (laughs) I, I, I like Sichuan uh, food because this uh, province is known for its food and spices. Oh. So this food here is extremely spicy. But I don't uh, eat that much spicy food. But um, Chinese food, uh, you got to develop taste for it, actually. Yeah. So it takes time to develop the taste. I, I like hot pot, the Sichuan hot pot, but not with the spice, uh, spices, but a regular one. So like okay. that. Now, yeah. are there any mm. Pakistani restaurants in China? Yes, we have. We oh. do have Pakistani restaurants. We do have Asian cuisine, Indian restaurants also, and um, yes, you can find all the uh, in you know local groceries also of your own country. So, okay. Now your yeah. your dress is very beautiful. Are you able to purchase silk silk material? Or is it still quite expensive there? It is really expensive. The real silk is really expensive. <laughs> like how expensive? I'm curious. How expensive? Well, you can get different qualities of silk. It depends. You can get a scarf and uh, uh, it can go to 500 uh, yuan also. Depending on the quality of it, it can be 100 yuan also. So it depends on the quality. But if you, mm, with real, real silk, you know, the real um, silk, that's really way too expensive. So. Oh, wow. Really? Otherwise, you can, you can, yes, but oh. you can always find the, uh, you know, uh, different qualities of silk. Okay. Go ahead, Carla. Mm-hmm. I've been mm-hmm. in India and bought some silk clothing, and I know it's more expensive than cotton, but it would be cheaper than it would be... <laughs> Here. <laughs> right. um, Carla, it depends on the quality of the silk also and you can always um, um, this is not a silk one I'm wearing it's a regular scarf so it's beautiful thank you it's, it's the yellow color my favorite one of my favorite color thank you so much oh, yeah. yellow is a favorite color of mine too I've been admiring that right. thank you Carla so are you through sharing out now, Carla? Can you talk? Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk as much as I can. I have to keep my eyes open. <coughs> Sorry. But um, okay. Carla, you look so sad. I'm going to kick you out because you're not smiling. You have a moment to get a smile on. Or I'm going to kick you out. Come on, Talit. Are you frozen? Must be. There's nothing there. 
Oh, uh, see, my internet is really. I think the internet is really. Yeah, my internet is not so supporting well, me. Well, okay, I'm not going to kick you. I can't kick you because. Oh, there we go. No. Okay, back to. Oh, why can't I get her name right now? Fatima, how are you? I'm good, Sarah. I'm really good. <laughs> yes, I'm really good. I had a really good conversation with Fatima a few days ago. So I think other people should get to know um, her question because I'll just keep on talking. Carla, I also had a very nice, very natural, smooth conversation that day, and so much to learn from you. And you ask really uh, interesting questions. Sometimes it's get difficult to look for the right answers. <laughs> and I uh, to you, if they're too hard, just tell me. <laughs> no, no, no. They're not. They're not hard questions. They're quite interesting because you have a very different perception. and we they are here to learn from each other's perception and ideas and here to share knowledge so you are full of knowledge and um and those uh, you know those questions were really interesting one i really enjoyed having a conversation with you and it was quite a natural smooth conversation the other day i had with you i work very hard to have conversations like that <laughs> you don't understand how much how hard i work for that. Apo A3S, please type in your name so I can bring you in. And Monsef, I need to know if you're a lady or a man or what's going on with your camera. And then I will talk to you. <clears throat> okay, um back to you, my friend. So what are you going to tell me today that is very interesting and will keep me happy? Fatima. Uh see. Hi, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes, I can't see you, but I can hear you. Something is wrong with my camera. Um, you know, this Yes, uh That's okay. You're sorry. a lady. You don't have to have a camera on. <laughs> I don't <laughs> mind having the camera on, but it just that sometimes that uh because the connection gets a little um distracted know, so not, that's why. I'm not So so what was your question? What was your question, Carla? Could you please repeat the question? You know, I know about you and I know that you are working at home. But what does your husband do? My husband uh, is a consul general of Pakistan uh, here in Chandu. He's a what? Uh, he's a, he's a consul general. Consul general. Oh. He he's a he's a diplomat. He's a he's representing Pakistan here. Wow. Oh, can I talk to him on do a Facebook live with him? Is he actually an ambassador? Um uh, no actually the ambassadors uh, are in uh, uh, the capital of this country here it's uh, it's his consulate so he's a consul general here he's heading the mission pakistan mission here in this city yes of course you can speak to him we'll set up a time and uh, uh, it'll be the beginning of that new show if we could get that going that would be wonderful and i just Thanks. dropped water on my computer uh oh no thing well it's only on the edge but i need to get it um which is why i don't like drinking from mugs and i'm i have to now from here uh <laughs> so tell me more what can you tell me today because i want this to become interesting and i am not getting very i'm not being very interesting at all today apo a3s i need your name or i will not bring you in please anyway you disappeared again my friend fatima Carla, there's something wrong with my camera. I apologize for that. I'm sorry okay, about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But of course I can of course I can hear you. 
and the most interesting thing, okay, I'll tell you something about uh, this country and uh, what I'm learning from this uh, nation, their patience level and the way they deal with the problems. If I can just give you an example that, you know, if you're working in an organization, what I have seen, these people listen to the instructions very well. They follow these standard procedures and with meticulous details, they do that. And that for that, they, you require a lot of patience. So the patience and discipline and self-control, these are the three things. They exist from top to down in any organization or even if you go to market or you just meet people around. So I repeat their patience, their self-control and their discipline. That's that's you. Uh, that's what you feel in the air. Also, that discipline. It's a huge economy and it's a huge city. And um, and the other day, I was telling you this. Uh, this country, this city's GDP is as big as Pakistan's GDP. Only the city's GDP. So it's a huge economy. But the workforce, people here, and uh, their patience level is just unbelievable what kind of businesses are in that country or where you are in that country uh, can you repeat your question Carla? what kind of businesses are found in that country where you are uh, in chandu city it's a artificial intelligence hub a b it's a fintech hub and out of 500 um, Fortune uh, con uh, companies. It's a hub for almost 300 plus. So it's um, out of 500 Fortune companies. It's a home for almost 300 plus companies. So wow. it's in, it's based. Yes. So so you know you can well imagine the size of the economy and the city. And it's a super clean city. Not only the downtown. If you go to the um, and then it has three ring roads. If you go to the outer ring road and the third ring road, so you'll find that whether it's a very developed uh, area or not, the city is very clean, super clean city of the world. Wow. Yes, I, yes. And um, the focus, the focus, they believe that what time is right now and the concentration span they have is unbelievable. They do things with extreme focus so that is that is you know that is something which we the rest of the world can learn from this part of the world that um, you have to have a solid concentration and believe that there is no time before it there is no time after this whatever the moment you have that is the moment and you got to do you got to do your work you got to do whatever you're doing you have to do it the best so that is the focus and concentration level or the commitment level it has. I haven't seen anywhere else in the world. Wow, that sounds really fascinating. Do you have artificial intelligence, anything with artificial intelligence in your home? No, I don't have it, but uh, I don't have a robot or anything. But um, this city has a lot of technology related to artificial intelligence and um, very digitalized economy it is. Someone had given me an Alexa and it seems to me, I would think where you live, you would have things like an Alexa where you can say, okay, Alexa, what time it is? Now it's going to tell me, but Alexa, what um, time is it? It's 1.12 p.m. <laughs> As I wow. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not using that technology at home because already, you know, technology is making us um, very, it, it has its use, useful effects also. But in the long run, it's destroying the concentration span too. That's true. I kind of agree, except that I, like when I want to take the dog out, I don't have to look on my 
phone to see if the sun is shining or if it's cold. I could say, Alexa, what's the weather? And she will tell me. In Silver Spring, it's 66 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Right. But using, it depends, you know, it's a personal choice. You know, you, you use it, that's good. It's benefiting you. Why not? You should use it. So, but um, when you have kids at home, it's better to, <laughs> uh, right. to yeah. I agree. Because sometimes it, it, you have to disconnect, to reconnect with yourself also. And you have to have the balanced use of technology. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. I know when I first, and I'm still like this, when I first started with Rehan, I definitely mm -hmm. was using the using technology more than I think I should have been. But I enjoy doing it, but I also now am working on learning to turn it off. And recently when he was here, he said, do you know how to turn off your notifications? And I said, no, but I'd love to learn. And I learned how, and you know what was so unbelievably nice? I never turned them back on except for one app. I don't know when someone had sent me a message. I have control over the phone again. And it's so nice to have it. Perfect. Han, I Enjoy. don't know if you're a man or a woman. Because if you're a man, I am going to take you off camera. I give you one minute to answer that. And OPPOA3S, I will not bring you in unless I know your real name. So please do, do that. And I've asked you several times, Muslim Khanta, you don't have much of an excuse anymore. Back to you, Fatima. Yes, Carla. It's a joy to have you here. I'm so excited for you to come to the show. So am I. Actually, I, I have. I was supposed to. I'm like keeping myself awake because you know we have a 12 hours difference. So it's um, night time here, and you have a New York time. It's morning there. So I wanted to join in from last two days too, but I was not able to do so. I'm excited too to be here because that day I really enjoyed my conversation with you. Well, you know, you are welcome to come back at any time. And Thank you. you're more than welcome here. Pamela, did you want to ask um, Fatima anything? Okay, I am curious. Um, because I know China can be very strict. Like when we had the Olympics over there, it, there was a lot of do's and don't do's. Um, I am kind of shocked with artificial intelligence in hearing this. Um, they still are a communist country and they still are in control. Um, have you run across any time that you have been there that basically you're just, you're forbidden to either go somewhere or to say or do something? Not at all, this not is, at all. This is good to hear, you know, since the Olympics, I think things have slowly began to change. Things, you know what, things have changed and things will change because everybody lives in a globalized world. And to a certain extent, there has to be a control um, because you have a very big population. Mm -hmm. So you need to uh, control, but there are ways to doing it. and. Whatever we get to hear on media, uh, you know, there are certain things which are politically correct and which are not politically correct. So everything yeah. which we hear on media is is not true at the grassroots level. So so it's uh, planned propagandas against certain economies also. So okay. that's how it is. Just to give an example here that, you know, I come from Pakistan and... Uh, in Pakistan, there was, you know, in the Western world, people had a very different view about my country. So, but until and unless you, you're there, you get to meet people, you understand the whole nation is not like that. So, so it's good to hear this. It's very so, good to hear this about China. 
it thrills. So it's just it thrills it's, me to do exactly. This. It's it's exactly like that. It's a world. Yeah. Um, things are opening up. People are opening up. We need to change our worldview by interacting, by learning from each other more, and do not uh, have preconceived emotions or do not buy all the statements that we hear, hear and see in the popular media across yeah. the world. Well, mine was so. from actually talking to a person in China mm -hmm. a few years ago. And I have noticed it starting to change. But I just wanted you to say it in your own words, because I think China mm -hmm. is sailing past the United States in the economy. They are going to be the world economy here pretty soon. Um, to see them come out of the, the dark ages, you might say, with the bullet train that they have and all the modern technology and everything is just wonderful. If it can happen there, it can happen anywhere. <laughs> so there are okay. so many there are so many things which are which happened in China, but not across the world. I'll tell you. The this the tagline of this city is unbelievable is just beginning. And I'll tell you. I see that happening and unbelievable things, you know, um, the amount of uh, skyscrapers they have with the most unique designs and the kind of technology they have used in it and um, what and what not. And, uh, and it's not, and I'll tell you, uh, this country has a history of 5,000 year old history so their timeline is very different than the rest of the world mm -hmm. a b it's not only the first rise of china if you look at their ancient history it's it's more it's beyond unbelievable and uh, there are other dynasties and you know you have to unfortunately what actually happened is that uh, world view you know we i i uh, we just don't think that five imagine just imagine 5000 year old history and which is almost documented so you can well imagine what sort of an amazing country it is wow. and um you wanted to hear from me about the technology i have, i have lived in the united states also and um i have tell you another example um, I have seen the healthcare there too, and healthcare here too. And uh, recently, um, last year in 2018, um, I had a little surgery. I had a surgery in the US also. But the way their healthcare was, and after health, after the surgery, and the kind of technology they've had, oh, I think the world is far behind it. Wow. In medicine, the way that they are using things. So it's my firsthand experience. So again, it's not the first rise of China. It's, they, they, it's a very visionary nation. They do their thing calmly and they're focused. They have a vision. They're working on it. And that's why I said we got to learn from them a lot. Their focus, their concentration, they believe in something. They believe in something. And the most important thing is the sense of community. Wow. Collectiveness. Collectiveness. That's more important. Mm -hmm. In the interview you know, that you did with Freyhan, you showed your city a little. Maybe you could do one with me where you can show me your, show me. Uh, the can can I switch? Okay. Let me just, uh, no, okay. Not able to because my room lights are here. Okay, I won't be able to show you right now. It's a view, a uh, few lights are here. I don't know how to see. Let it's just... okay. But when it's daylight, I'd like you Yeah, to... I can. Yeah. In the daylight, I'll show it to you. And but I remember, the cleanliness. I remember it being so very beautiful. And it was before I was on that live stream for most of it and i saw you show it and i thought where is that i didn't hear you were in china yet and i thought what a beautiful beautiful area you're in it was uh that day it was really beautiful also because of the sunshine too and uh, 
it's um, the, in the daylight. I definitely show you. It's a beautiful city, and um, very green city also. Of course, they have developed. It's an urban city. It's a metropolitan city. You have skyscrapers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but it is very green also. They they focus on the green energy, and greenery is um, unbelievable. <laughs> One simple word: unbelievable. I want to introduce you to our resident ten-year-old. I think she's okay. ten-year-old, ten or eleven. Her name is Faria. She comes often to the show, and the reason I let her come today, she's been here three days in a row, so she is not coming tomorrow. I hope she understands. Um, not because I don't want her here, but we need to have other people come in. I'd like her to maybe ask you a little about China because I don't think she's ever been there. And it would be interesting for her to learn from you. Maria, you are yes, already please. unmuted. I took care of you. And okay. your children should come to the kids program. I don't know how we're going to figure that out on Sundays, but we should figure something out for them to come. Berea, you may talk. And Raro, I will get to you. Don't think I'm going to forget you or Mahaba. I will get to you. Berea? Hi, Fatma. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So glad to see you here. I am I am fine. I hope you are fine too. Yes, I am very well. Thank you so much. So, Fatima, Maria, you always have tons of questions. <laughs> this is one time you. I'm telling you, they have to question answer. One. <clears throat> so. Okay. Yes, I'm all listening. Fatima, do you know my aunt's name is Fatima too, and my friend name is too. I am so glad to know that your friend's name is Fatima too. Fatima is quite a common name, right? Yeah. So, what do you do? I, in, I, in which grade are you? I am in class for his and and I wow. study in Hera Foundation School, Darlum, Karachi, Very and nice. I live in Pakistan. I'm also from Pakistan. Do you know this? Yeah, I listen. <laughs> wow. So, how is the weather in Karachi? Let me ask you questions. It is very hot and everybody is getting sick. So that means when the weather is hot, we got to drink more water to keep ourselves hydrated. I hope you are drinking a lot of water. Yeah. That's yeah. really good. Uh, Karachi is a hot, hot, uh, hot city because it is close to. Balochistan. Right, it's close to sea also, right? You have Arabian Sea in Karachi. Oh, really? I didn't know that. There's a Kala? very famous castle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have a sea in your city? We have a river called the Potomac River. And it's very, very close to me. And close to me is a long creek called Rock Creek Park. And they call it Rock Creek Park because there's a lot of rocks in the creek. And it's very, okay. it's not very high. You can see the rocks and walk over the rocks. Okay. Carla, do you know, uh, both of you, Fatma and Carla, do you know our water came from Kashmir and, 
and it is Neelam Jeel and it is a name of Neelam Jeel. It is a river that's like it, but we call a Jeel. Mm -hmm. I didn't know until now, but now I do. Thank you for teaching me. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you want to ask Fatima any questions? Yeah. What yes, does What does China looks like because my cousins live there too? China uh looks uh it's did you want to know about the geography and uh, okay I'll tell you very interesting thing. China is almost oh. as big as United States in geography, almost, you know, the covered area. Uh, but okay. it has one time zone. It has one time zone. So that's the, uh, you know, the time which is from north to east and east to west is the same time. time. Right now, if it's 12, uh, it's 129 a.m. here so you'll have the same time in Shanghai you'll have the same time in Beijing so every across the China it's just one time that do you is, know what is time in Pakistan it is 10 30 yes you were three hours behind I know yeah thank you thank you for telling me and where I am mm -hmm. um, Maria it's 1 30 p.m. Oh, so where it is evening, afternoon for me, for Fatima, it is nighttime. Is yes. that 12 hours later in China? It is in our city, it is night too, and and you know, my cat is very sleepy. She said. Please come and and listen to my poem. Oh, you're going to tell your cat a poem. That'll be very nice. Yeah. What's okay. the name of your cat? Come here, Brody. My cat name. My cat name is Mishi and she has a sister. Her name is Sushi. Wow. But they both fight with each other. One is at my grandmother's house and and one it is in my house. Oh, very nice. What does Choki Vachi mean? Can someone tell me? Sorry, Carla. What is Choti Vachi? Someone wrote, who is this Choti Vachi? Choti Vachi. Okay, yeah. Carla, can I tell you? Uh, yeah, let me go. Okay, okay, I. Okay, uh, you tell her, please. Choti Bachi, a, what does it mean in English? A little girl. Yeah. Ah, so you should answer the question. Who is the little girl, Berea? <laughs> it is my, like my cousin. Her name is Incha. She is a little girl. She can't speak. <laughs> Someone is asking. In the chat, who is this Choti Bachi? You are the Choti Bachi. Yeah. And I just wanted you to yeah. tell that person who, what the Choti Bachi is. This little girl is very smart and intelligent girl. So glad to hear her. Thank you. I agree. I just right. don't want her to lose his her childhood by spending too much time on her cam on her phone. 
Thank you. It is okay. I don't know. I think you're spending too much time. I'm going to have to cut some of your time here. So you can tell me about what you do when you're not on camera. <laughs> okay. I'm doing that for you, Maria, not for me. I'm doing it to make sure that you are doing things that are not on your computer too. I want you to be a kid. Okay. okay. Carla, when I was not on camera, I was trying to be, to find a camera, how to, how to be funny. I was a little bit nervous at first time because I have no mobile at that time, so my mother gave her gave her mobile to me. <laughs> so I ran away downstairs and watch. And I'm trying to <laughs> got into camera, but it was so hard when I grow up. Then I knew how to use a camera. Because my mother always takes photos from camera. That's a good thing, but you also need to be a kid. And that's my concern. And I do okay. it not out of anger or not because I don't want you here. I'm doing it because I care about you being here. Okay? Okay. So don't think Sorry, I don't want you. I just don't want you here as much. I want you out playing with friends too. Okay? Don't spend your, all your time okay. on your phone. Okay. Carla, sorry. I got to go now. It's quite late oh. here. So I shall catch you later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, uh, okay. everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Come again, Bye. please. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's say hello to Raul because we are over time like normal. <sighs> and soon I'm going to have to stop on time because I'm going to have another show coming up about where they're teaching me Urdu and I'm teaching them English. So Raul, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks. What about you? I am fine. Where do you live, Rabo? Uh, yes, I live in Hyderabad uh, from Pakistan. Okay, and are you a student? Yes, I'm a student of law and uh, pursuing law from Hyderabad. So you're, a, you're not a kid student, you're an over 20 student, right? Yes, I'm 25 years old. Okay, you can't come to the kids' show. I always ask anyone who's a student to see if I can get from there. Can't invite you. What else? Okay, so you are speaking. Your English is very good. How? Where Thank did you. you find the show? Yes, uh, I found the show because uh, I was scrolling the Facebook, so I... Uh, 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 have made a friend, uh, Ryan Alawala. Rayhan's your friend? Ryan Alawala. So I have liked this his page. So I know you. I uh, saw his uh, request that uh, uh, they were uh, chatting on the Facebook. Are you his friend on Facebook, or are you following him? I'm following him. Okay. Yes. And what made you decide to follow Rayhan? Sorry? Why did you decide to follow Rayhan? Because uh, uh, he has many, so, so many videos on Facebook, like uh, um, uh, personal uh, uh, enhancing, like uh, self-confidence. Uh, and I have also followed you and uh, not Pamela. Okay, well, now you need to follow Pamela, too. Yeah. Yes, yes, I will follow her. <laughs> yeah, I can't make you a friend right now. I've got 5,000, so all you can uh, do is follow me. <laughs> okay, then I follow you. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm also a friend of Rehan's for a long time, so. <laughs> And so I'm this a is really a great friend, opportunity for right, me to speak right. in English here. And uh, this is a great initiative uh, for us. Well, you know I am here Monday through Thursday for people your age. Okay, let me know. I will join you today, uh, every day. Well, well, you can't join every day because I'm trying okay. to make more time for new people to come like you. But you can come. I, I'm also new people. I'm also new. <laughs> <laughs> he got you there. <laughs> twice a week, okay? okay? Okay, okay, I can join you twice a week. Yeah, and if it's a slow day, maybe three times. But okay. I'm what time is it on the uh, same people all the time that new people can't come. Okay. So can I uh, uh, talk about you that uh, where are you from and uh, why are you giving us chance to speak here in English? Uh, why you made this uh, great initiative? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have family answer. I always feel funny answering this. Well, it all goes back to Rehan Alawala. <laughs> I'm going to tell the story. It all, I'm, really, um, I'm really grateful to Rehan Alawala. So I got a chance to meet with the new people like uh, Carla and Pamela. Um, it all started with Rehan. I had no desire to do it and he talked me into it. And I was having so much fun doing it that I kept on doing it for almost two years now. Yes. So where are you from, ma'am? I'm from Washington, D.C. area. Washington, D.C. Thank you, great. And I'm from Ohio in America. <laughs> from? Ohio. Ohio. Listening mm -hmm. first time. It's, it's another state. It's one of the 50. <laughs> <laughs> I would show you my dog, but he's half asleep. And if I pick him up now, I'll get bitten. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. He's a good boy. Is there anything else you want to say today? Because we just had someone else come in and I have Mahaba and we are already over time. But you can come back. Yes, I will uh, surely come back. But uh, I don't understand now what could I to speak. So you can uh, ask anything from me. Well, actually, you answered the basics already. Um, and unfortunately, because of time, I need to move forward. Yes, but, yes, but I have a question. Last oh. question. That, uh, OK, one more question. <laughs> yes, my question is that uh, how can we increase our uh, fluency in speaking in English? I'm going to let you answer it, because I'm tired of answering this question every time. Okay, this is said a lot, but the truth is you have to say it a lot because of the new audiences. Doing what you are doing right now, Raul, um, is just by speaking to Americans. Are we the first Americans you have spoke to? No, I am not spoken. Okay, you have never spoken to an American till today? No. No, I have not spoken any native speaker. We are honored. We are honored. I have heard this so many times. I would be the richest woman in Pakistan if I had a rupee for every time I have heard this. You are the first American. Yes. What you are doing right now I is, just, uh... is major. This is how you improve your English. Don't get hung up on the accent. Don't worry about anything else. Just come and talk to us. You become okay. more relaxed. You, you uh, get over your shyness and you just speak. We just come here to talk and have fun. That's how you improve your English, okay? Okay, okay. thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. See, you're better already, <laughs> okay? <laughs> thank okay. you, thank you so much.
You're very welcome. Okay, Carla, I know we got to move on. Answer. I answer that every day at <laughs> least five times. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ma, I do need to move on, but you can stay and watch. Let's say hello to Mahaba, and then we'll say hello to Nazis. And Nazis, I think you should come to our women's only group. We'll talk in a moment, okay? Hello, Mahaba. How are you? Hello, Carla. How are you? I'm Pamela. Hi. I'm fine. Okay. What is new with you? What? What is new with you? I have nothing new. Then why did you come talk to me today? <laughs> what? Why did you come if you have nothing to say? I I had network problem. Can you help um, pay more, please? Okay. Well, um, in your message the other day, you had told me you cooked maize. What did you cook today? Today I cook beans. Ah, very good. She shared the pictures and the, the one um, bean or bread. I still don't understand, but how you make the design on this is beautiful. Yeah. It's very beautiful. I'm very interested in food and cooking, as you know. Um, yeah. And how's school going? How's teaching going? Well, well. Very well. Good. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Um, okay. I uh, Tell us about the weather. What's the weather like there? Uh, weather. By the, go ahead. The weather is hot. It's hot. Okay. There's new people in the audience. Can you please tell them who, where you are from? What country are you from? I am from Somalia. Okay. Okay, uh, and you listened to the woman, which was very, very interesting, from Pakistan that is living in China. Yeah. Have, have, had you heard anything about China till today? No, I didn't. No. Oh, so you learned all kinds of new things today then. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you eat spicy food in Somalia? Yeah. Do you? Lots of hot peppers and everything? No, no. No. Oh, not hot peppers? Hot peppers, no. Oh, okay. What oh. kind of spices do you cook with, Mahaba? It's spicy. What kind of spices do you use? Tell me a spice you use. I can't tell you in English. Okay. This but is your assignment. Find the names. You can find it. Find it online. Find the names because we want to know. Okay? I will send you the pictures. No. Okay. No, you need to... The next time you come, if you cannot tell me a name of a spice, just I one will spice. Know if you come for a week. Uh oh, this is I your assignment. <laughs> and you can't come tomorrow because you've been here twice. But you better have some name of spices on for the woman's show, or you will not be able to come back for a week. Okay, I will ask you, my brother. <laughs> no. You do it online. You find it yourself. Tonight, I will ask you tonight. Okay, that's fine. But remember, you need it for Monday, for Friday. You don't need it for tomorrow, but Friday. Okay. Okay, do you mind if I move on? Because we really are late right now. Okay. I'll, I wanted to I'll question. talk to you later. I'll talk to you later, but no, go ahead. do you dare give her spice name. I'm not. I have her. Didn't I have you Google that, uh, what okay. you were talking to me about? Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Make her Google. Okay. Okay. Nazis. How are you? I don't think I've met you before. How? Introduce yourself. I'm from Pakistan. Where are you from, Nazis? I can barely hear you. You need to talk louder, please. Assalamu alaikum. I am from Pakistan. Where in Pakistan? What city? Rawalpindi. Oh. Ah. Are you a student? No, I am married. Ah, do you have any kids? I have. How many kids? How many kids do you have, Nazis? Did she freeze? I think she's frozen. Nazis! Nazis! Oh, there she is. There she is. How many kids do you have? Four. How old are they? How many years are they? Um, my 13 years old. Okay. Um, 12 years old, four years old, and three years old. Wow! Are they all girls or are they all boys? Three boys and Ah, uh, how old is the boy? 13 years old. Oh, so he's the oldest. And how old is the girl? I have to lock the room, people, in case you know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, we got an, another new one in here. <laughs> yeah, I can't. When they come into the white room, I can't see. Oh, he's on. He's he's here. I know. I brought him in. He was oh, in the okay. white room. I brought him in. I locked the room now. Okay. So what do you want to say? What made you want to come to the show today? I... Terry, do not open, do not unmute yourself, number one. And number two, get off of your Facebook page. If you are echoing, I will not be able to speak with you. Okay, go on, Nazish. I, I want to improve my English. Very good. Do you know that I have a group for women only? Do you understand what I said? Yes, but I can't reply. Why? I don't know. Okay. I have a group where only women can come and speak. It's every Friday at this time. You should join that group. I will put it in the Facebook chat. While I do that, Pamela, could you talk to her for a moment so I can do that now for her? Okay. Before I forget. Nazish, um, I... My name is Pamela, and I'm from America as well. And I'm happy that you are here. Thanks. Um, go ahead. I'm on to see you. I'm, I feel very impatient, but I want to prove myself. Well, this English. is this is how you do it. Um, our Carla I and I speak. Mm -hmm. Are Carla and I your first Americans to talk to? Are, are, I'm excited. 
<laughs> okay. This this too happens the first time that you come and talk. It gets easier. And we laugh and we have fun and we learn from each other. Okay? Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. I bet you cook lots of chicken biryani. Yeah. <laughs> I make wonderful biryani. Oh. My whole family like my uh, biryani. They come to my home and want to please cook biryani oh this is wonderful i've learned to cook chicken biryani as well it's very good <laughs> today i make uh, macaroni with beans and send my neighbors front and back and three home they like very tasty mm -hmm. Very good. I think you love to cook as much as I do. Did you learn to cook with your mom uh, when you were little? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, now do you have brothers and sisters? I have, uh, mashallah, I have three brothers and five sisters. Oh, wow. So when you get together, you have a big party, a big family. Yes. Now, does everyone cook? Does everyone cook when you get together or do you do all the cooking? No, they, they are all uh, said you cook because your cooking is very nice. My very mom. good. I know, I know during Ramadan, especially toward the end for Eid, there is so much food. Uh, you ladies are busy for days making samosa and, and everything uh, for the Eid party at, at the end. Um, when, you am, come, when you huh? come my home, when you come my home, then I will be for <laughs> Well, thank you. I would love this very much. If if the day ever comes that I can finally visit Pakistan, thank you. You are very kind. Okay, so everyone knows for all the women, I just put in the women's only group um, link so you can come and join the women's only group, only speak on Fridays at the same time as this show. Nazis, I need to go forward. I will talk to you. Please come to the women's only group, okay? Join the group. You need to join the group to come and I make sure that no men are there at all. No men, okay? Sorry, guys. <laughs> So if you're a man, don't even ask to join. Okay, Tariq, I can give you maybe two minutes. I can't talk to you for long, but can you please say hello and tell me where you're from? Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. And hi, Kelra and Pamela. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Both? We're oh, very hi. good. <laughs> what can we do for you? Where are you from, Tariq? Uh, I am from Pakistan, Karachi. Oh, I am from Pakistan, Karachi, Senate. Oh, so you live in Karachi. Are you working in Karachi? No, I am a student uh, and I am studying in Karachi. Okay, uh, how media, old are you, Tariq? Media how, old how old are you? Uh, 90. Yes. You know, Tariq, you can come to the kids' show and you'll be speaking to people your age there. Sorry, I can't understand. You should come to the kids' show and you will get to speak to people your age. Do you want to try, Pamela? Okay. okay, on Sunday... I see. What's the ages? What's the ages? Oh, anyone under 20. Anyone under 20 can come to the Sunday show, Tariq. 
uh, and speak. There are, I've joined the show several times. There's one, oh. uh, amazing kids. There's a uh, young, uh, young men and uh, women there your age uh, who speak to one another. Uh, and it's, um, it, it's a great way to, to talk. Another, another day with a different audience to talk. Okay. 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 And uh, Sunday books, same. same time. Same time. Same time. Okay. Okay. Inshallah, I will come. Okay. Yeah, and I you think that group. would be better. And you have uh, any group uh, in Facebook? You can uh, tell me. And uh, yeah, we have a group Learn to Speak English. And you can by speaking English. You can look. Uh, please there. can can you tell uh, tell me a group name or WhatsApp I, number? It's the same name as the show. It's the show. It's oh, the uh, show. It's the show. Uh, it uh, Facebook. I can't hear you. You're breaking. Or okay. Uh. Okay, he's asking if it's Facebook. It's on yeah, you. It's on Facebook. Yeah. And you are on the thank Carla you, Richmond you. Learn English by Speaking English. And this is Monday through Thursday. And then because of your age, you're able to join the Sunday show. And okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, only Sunday. No, you can come <laughs> any day, but you are able to come to the Sunday show. Tariq, oh. I need to end the show now. I'm sorry. Okay, okay welcome. Okay. People, and, I... Uh, my, I have uh, one question. No, I'm sorry. I am over half an hour late. I have something else to do. You can come okay. on. Sunday and ask me as many questions as you want, but you can't only, wait uh, at only, the end I of the show. No, Please tell me. no. Okay, I'm you're sorry. I'm sorry. No, I need to end the show. You came after the show was half an hour over. I need to end the show. You may not ask any more questions now. I'm sorry, but the show is over. People, I will okay. be back tomorrow. This show was trans sponsored by VoIP, which is- Bye, 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 bye. Our... You know what? I'm going to have to remove him. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. I, I'm nice to meet you. I am sorry, I hate to have to do that, but when I say we cannot talk anymore, I cannot talk anymore. Okay, so leave, continue. You need to be understanding yeah. of that and respectful. Okay, of that. What is and yeah. someone, Roa, you cannot unmute yourself. It creates an echo. I'm sorry, we're going to end the show now. I really need to. I'm a half hour over the show. I will be back tomorrow to speak to everyone in English. Come speak with me then. 9.30 p.m. Pakistan time. 12.30 p.m. New York time. And I will see you then. Will everyone please wave goodbye? Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.